Coming up on this edition of SUTV News, we take a closer look at the election season on campus, how to prepare your vehicle for winter weather, and in sports, a huge homecoming victory on homecoming. This is SUTV News, and it starts now. SUTV News. I'm Adam Kempenick. And I'm Nicole Johnson. The new bison statue at NDSU has been well received this year. But an incident that happened over the last weekend shows that not everyone is grateful of the donation. On Saturday night, an NDSU public safety officer noticed vandalism on the bison monument and the surrounding area. The damage is estimated at over $1,000. Shown here are two individuals caught on camera that are wanted for questioning and possible vandalism. University police hope to make a break in the case and report the monument dedication will continue despite the vandalism. Destroy that area. It's very disappointing and I, I, I think honestly the majority of the students here in campus, faculty and staff I know for a fact are disappointed in this so it just takes that one percent that take that next step to move towards uh, destroying something that uh, makes it look bad for everyone. If you recognize the individuals in the picture or have any information about the vandalism, contact the University Police tip line at the number below. It's election season and you can feel the excitement in the air. It is, unless you find yourself on a college campus. According to a report by the Associated Press, excitement levels for the 2012 elections are far from where they were in 2008 on college campuses around the country. According to students, the election seems dull and not like anything it has been in the past years. The, P the Pew Research Center found that only 60% of college-age voters are interested in this year's election. Having a new, uh, what seems like a neutral campus or a campus that doesn't necessarily push views one way or the other I think is a lot more beneficial to people, students especially, who are trying to make adequate decisions on who they should be voting for. An IOP poll reports only 22% of college students say they are politically active. Only time will tell how the lack of enthusiasm in young voters will affect this year's election. With elections being right around the corner, many NDSU students find themselves wondering the importance of voting. The polls will be opening in less than a month and many students are preparing to vote, some for the first time. With every election, the topics of voter importance comes into play. Oftentimes, students believe their vote has no say in the direction of the country. While some students are hesitant to voting, others... Voters need to get involved with the election process, and not just voting. If you want to get more involved with the political process itself, you are doing a great contribution to help promote what you view to be a better America. The vice presidential debate will happen tonight from 8 to 9.30 p.m. Students enrolled in NDSU's small business program could find immediate success out of college. The Small Business Institute offers students this opportunity to participate in real-world management experience. A Forbes magazine study has recently ranked Fargo number two on its list for best of places to work for small business. The study stated Fargo offers a wide variety of cultural opportunities. Local businesses cite Fargo's convenient air and road access to Minneapolis and other big cities as an advantage to the reason. My husband took the management course for pharmacy, and I took that business plan that they had to create in that to create the business plan for this. The best feeling in the world is when I was able to have that professor sit in my chair and ex tell him that if it were not for his class, this would not exist. And that was a wonderful feeling. College students interested in starting their own business in Fargo can find more information on the city website. The Department of Music at NDSU has made big changes. We'll find out how after the show, after we show you the seven day forecast. Jitters is your home for quality coffee drinks. Whether you crave an espresso, iced coffee, mocha, or macchiato, Jitters has just what you need. Now featuring breakfast foods like caramel rolls, bagels, and more, be sure to get your day started right. Located on 12th Avenue North, Jitters has a friendly, relaxed atmosphere with Wi-Fi capability to get all of your studying done on time. 
Get your fix only at Jitters. Hey, I'm Alex. I'm Austin. And I'm here to tell you about 15 on 15. It means MapBus arrives every 15 minutes on Route 15. From downtown to around town. Find out more about 15 on 15 at MapBus.com. Check it out on Facebook and Twitter. Keyword, MapBus. So fast and convenient. There are way more than 15 reasons to check out 15 on 15. I ride MapBus. And I ride MapBus. And, and you, you should, should too. too. Watch SU TV News on Cable One. Produced by students of Bison Information Network, we promise to bring you all the latest news and sports from the campus of North Dakota State University. Watch SU TV News on Cable One Channel 14. Brought to you in part by Shields and Stop and Go. SU TV News is brought to you by Stop and Go. Stop and Go, we're always there. Welcome back to SU TV News. The beginning, of, be, the beginning of October officially marks the start of National Bullying Prevention Month. Communities across the nation are participating in this campaign. NDSU takes its own steps to prevent harassment. At the beginning of the year, freshmen at NDSU participate in a University 189 class, which teaches behavioral policies on campus. Bullying is uh, We hear very few cases of bullying or harassment at NDSU. Um, when we do have them come forward, they're usually very disruptive for those who are involved, but it's not something that we do receive a lot of reports on. If you are being bullied or you witness someone being bullied, you can contact the Student Life Offices or NDSU Counseling Services. You might notice NDSU students stepping to the beat of a new drum. The Higher Board of Education makes a big change for music. North Dakota State University's Department of Music is no longer just a department. On September 26, the NDSU School of Music was born. There are only 49 colleges in the United States that are recognized as being schools of music. And the SU Department of Fine Arts points out that even though the name is new, the mission and the history remain the same. Egg, that's what we've always been. It's been like our history, that's what we've been known for. And then the music students will be like really happy because they've been striving probably for NDSU to be known for that. And they've worked really hard. And obviously like our music department is doing really good if NDSU is um, considering changing. A conducting degree might be on the rise. A doctoral program in conducting will be featured at the School of Music. Yes, you will be the only Midwest college offering this degree. Writer Thomas Merton once said, art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. The Fargo-Moorhead visual artist Studio Crawl gave people a chance to do just that. The annual event showcases a variety of artists from the Fargo-Moorhead area. Forty artists presented their work either in local art studios or in their own homes. Paintings, pottery, glass blowing, and sculpted leather were just a few of the many mediums presented at the crawl. Visitors also had the opportunity to purchase many of the pieces. Simple health, from pink ribbons on professors to pink shoes on your favorite NFL football players, pink seems to be everywhere. Pink is symbolic for breast cancer awareness, and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, an international campaign to raise awareness as well as money to help find better treatments. Breast cancer accounts for approximately one-third of all cancers in women. About one in eight will develop breast cancer during her lifetime. If you want to help, a wide variety of pink items such as clothing, pins, and this pink ribbon magnet are available at many youth stores, including the local NDSU bookstore. Well, winter is upon us. After Campus Calendar, we'll take a look at how you can prepare your vehicle before the cold weather hits.
Watch SUTV News on Cable One. Produced by students of Bison Information Network, we promise to bring you all the latest news and sports from the campus of North Dakota State University. Watch SUTV News on Cable One Channel 14. Brought to you in part by Shields and Stop and Go. Hey, I'm Alex. I'm Austin. And I'm here to tell you about 15 on 15. It means Matt Bus arrives every 15 minutes on Route 15. From downtown to around town. Find out more about 15 on 15 at mattbus.com. Check it out on Facebook and Twitter. Keyword, Matt Bus. So fast and convenient. There are way more than 15 reasons to check out 15 on 15. I ride Matt Bus. And I ride Matt Bus. And, and you, you should, should too. too. Welcome back to SUTV News. Last Friday's snowfall may have melted away. But it's a good idea to plan your vehicle for its return. Winter is coming, and with the change of seasons comes cold temperatures, icy roads, and dangerous travel conditions. While there is nothing you can do to stop the cold, there are plenty of simple maintenance procedures and precautionary measures you can take. These include properly inflating your tires, allowing extra time for travel, and always carrying an emergency kit. There's other things you can do to get your car ready. If you have access to uh, electricity at your dorm or for a student or whatever, uh, make sure you have some kind of an engine heater on your car, especially older ones. To avoid getting stranded this winter, be sure to winterize your vehicle and always carry your cell phone charger while you're traveling. Founded in the early 90s, this collection features after the Bison Monument on campus was vandalized, many students feel very strongly about the individuals responsible for its destruction. This week for Sidewalk Stampede, we set out to see how many students care, feel about this monumental catastrophe. I think it's very rude. I mean, it was donated to the campus, so it's just kind of disrespectful for them to just go and vandalize that statue. Terrible, like where's your bison pride? Um, I don't know, I don't think you should ever do that to anybody's statue. I think it's, it's sad when people vandalize stuff that's meant to just, you know, um, make our campus look better. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of those things that's just stupid. There's no reason for it. And I just think it's really too bad that um, we've got to defile, you know, it's like a symbol of our school. It's, I don't know, we have, a lot of us have Bison Pride around here, and guys that can do that just kind of undermines that. So um, I was really disappointed right now in, in guys that would do that. So thanks. Joining us now is sports anchor Morgan Lubin. And I mean, talk about not showing bison pride with the statue being vandalized. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad showing of bison pride, but there's been a lot of good showing of bison pride as well, especially at the football games this last weekend for homecoming. We'll take a look at the game at itself with sports after this. Jitters is your home for quality coffee drinks. Whether you crave an espresso, iced coffee, mocha, or macchiato, Jitters has just what you need. Now featuring breakfast foods like caramel rolls, bagels, and more, be sure to get your day started right. Located on 12th Avenue North, Jitters has a friendly, relaxed atmosphere with Wi-Fi capability to get all of your studying done on time. Get your fix only at Jitters.
Hey, I'm Alex. I'm Austin. And I'm here to tell you about 15 on 15. It means MapBus arrives every 15 minutes on Route 15. From downtown to around town. Find out more about 15 on 15 at MapBus.com. Check it out on Facebook and Twitter. Keyword, MapBus. It's so fast and convenient. There are way more than 15 reasons to check out 15 on 15. I ride MapBus. And I ride MapBus. And, and you, you should, should too. too. Watch SU TV News on Cable One. Produced by students of Bison Information Network, we promise to bring you all the latest news and sports from the campus of North Dakota State University. Watch SU TV News on Cable One Channel 14. Brought to you in part by Shields and Stop and Go. TV Sports is brought to you by Shields. Ready for your next big adventure? Welcome to Shields. Welcome back. Football came home for homecoming and faced a very strong Youngstown State team ranked number three in the nation. The Penguins were the only team to beat the Bison last season, but this year would be a different story. Out to gain City Bank Field now, a record of tenants of over 19,000. In the first quarter, Brock Jensen, the flea flicker, down to Zach Vrod, down the middle of the field, good for a 49-yard touchdown. NDSU would go up 14-7. They would not trail the rest of the game. Midway through the second quarter, with Youngstown State driving, Kurt Hess picked off by Marcus Williams at the two-yard line. He'll return it 98 yards for a Bison defensive touchdown. Marcus Williams' first interception for a touchdown this season. NDSU would go up 21-7. In the third quarter, now after Adam Keller set a career-long 43-yard field goal last, season, or last week, this week he kicks a 49-yarder for a new career-long. With the ensuing Penguin drive, the Penguins punt it to Ryan Smith, and Ryan Smith does what Smith does so well on special teams, slips past the defender, cuts inside, cuts back outside, makes the punter miss. He'll outrun a diving tackler, 76 yards untouched, punt return touchdown for Ryan Smith. That would put the Bison up 45 to seven. The Bison would eventually win 48 to seven. Smith had 172 all-purpose yards, and the Bison are scoring their opponents 166 to 14 at home. A large part of the Bison's success this season has been their ability to throw the ball. SUTV Sports Director Jake Sheeta has more on NDSU's wide receivers. The Bison are averaging 44 points per game this season, more than an NDSU team has ever averaged. Coming off of a season where only 23% of their touchdowns were scored via the pass, the 2012 version of the Bison has a new look. Last year, you know, most of our plays were aimed just at Warren or just at Ryan, and now we have routes and schemes that will go toward one person, and if they're not open, we'll feel confident in throwing it and someone else. Brock has found seven different receivers for touchdowns and is converting on 59% of their third downs. I think, you know, we got a lot of good schemes called on third down. We got faith in Brock and our receivers that we know that on third down we can be pretty consistent and get the, get the first down on there. We worked hard in the offseason with Brock and everything, throwing routes, getting our timing down and everything. You know, it's a turn of path now. The Bison not only won arguably their most important game of the season, but they also won the nine spot on SportsCenter's top ten plays. I gotta see sports, I gotta see the top ten plays before it comes on. And then everyone comes running down to, you were number nine, you were number nine. And I just thought, you guys are kidding. Tell, tell me what's going on. Hopefully this success and recognition will carry on through the careers of these young players. Brock is a heck of a quarterback now. He can make a lot of throws most quarterbacks can't make. And you know what, I'm going to be more than happy to have him as my quarterback. Jake Cheetah reporting. SU TV Sports. Eisen will next take on Indiana State at home. That game will kick off at 3 p.m. Saturday, October 13th. Volleyball continued a long-standing rivalry Tuesday as they took on UND. This was the 90th meeting between the two teams and would break a streak by the Bison that lasted for more than 35 years. Inside the Benson Bunker Fieldhouse now, where Bison head coach Kerry Thompson has never beat UND. Pick up the action in the first set. Bryn Jokey's attack be handled by UND, and Nikki Husfeldt 
Well, puts it over on the second touch. UND will win the first set, 25-19. In the second set, Catherine Yeager sets up Megan Lambertson for one of her 10 kills of the night, but Bison will lose the second set, 25-21. With match point, now Husfeld will put the perfect set to Lexi Robinson, and she would lead all players on the night with 13 kills. UND would go on to win the match three sets to zero. NDSU's first home loss to UND since 1976. The Bison will finish their homestand with matches against Omaha on Saturday and Drake on Monday. With the college basketball season just around the corner, the Bison women's basketball team started practice this week. Six seniors will be returning to this team that finished fifth in the Summit League last season. Two of the returning senior starters will be Danny Degagne and Janae Burrich, the team's leading scorers from last season. Katie Burko will also be returning this year after missing all of last season with a knee injury. Coach Dehoff says that her team's biggest strength is their age and leadership. It's nice to have six returning seniors too because uh, our leadership comes from four of those kids that have been here for four, Katie Burkle, five years. NDSU will begin exhibition play November 1st at home against the University of Minnesota Crookston. Well, back to volleyball, guys. You can watch those Saturday and Monday home matches on NDSU All Access on GoBison.com. You can also watch the replay on Channel 84 right here. That's really nice if people have something to do or they just can't get a ticket for the game. They can just stream it online. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Well, coming up next on SUTV News, an NDSU class helps students conquer one of their biggest fears. Watch SUTV News on Cable One. Produced by students of Bison Information Network, we promise to bring you all the latest news and sports from the campus of North Dakota State University. Watch SUTV News on Cable One Channel 14. Brought to you in part by Shields and Stop and Go. Hey, I'm Alex. I'm Austin. And I'm here to tell you about 15 on 15. It means MatBus arrives every 15 minutes on Route 15. From downtown to around town. Find out more about 15 on 15 at MatBus.com. Check it out on Facebook and Twitter. Keyword, MatBus. So fast and convenient. There are way more than 15 reasons to check out 15 on 15. I ride MatBus. And I ride MatBus. And, and you, you should, should too. too. SUTV News. One of North Dakota State University general education required course sure gets people talking. The public speaking class at North Dakota State University teaches 1,000 to 15, 1,500 students every year. The classroom for COM 110 is a smaller setting with only about 20 students being instructed per class. The smaller classes allow for more student discussions and student involvement. Students in COM 110 learn to effectively give presentations and how to use visual aids like PowerPoint. Enjoy most about COM 110 is the different variety that the students bring to the class. Since it is a required class at North Dakota State University, a lot of students are kind of like, well, why am I here? And as we get into the class and they see how it applies to their majors, they start pulling the examples from other classes and personal experiences and making the class really unique. COM 110 students will finish the semester with an impromptu speech, which only lasts for five minutes and allows for five minutes of preparation. Instructors see this as a great way for the students to show what they have learned over the semester. 
Well, thank you for watching this edition of SU TV News. Check us out on Facebook and at ndsubin.com. And be sure to pick up your copy of The Spectrum. We leave you now with another look at the sights and sounds of the homecoming football game. and he hasn't been able to. Nick List with a booming kick, and Ryan Smith comes to the left sideline of the 24 and makes the catch up the middle of the 30, 40, 45, 50. One man to beat at the 40, 30, 20 to the 10. Smith angling left inside the 